Hey everybody, Troy here, EBA Central. Today we're going to be taking a look at Open Mandriva. Before we get started though, please like and subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything and at the end if you don't like it and you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe. Plus, those who do subscribe and like get entered into the Aces in Book 14 giveaway that we're doing on August 31st, 2021. So we're taking a look at Open Mandriva, which is a direct descendant of the original Mandriva Linux. Now I'm on their website now, and I'm in Mandriva, and we are in the Falcon browser. Now what I like, I want to show you something on the Falcon browser here. If you go over here and click, and you go to Preferences, you get all your different things that you can change over here. Under Appearance, right now it's under the Linux Appearance. You can change it to look like Chrome, and Apply, and then you get that Chrome look, and then you can change it to look like a Mac and it kind of gives you the Mac theme or Windows. I don't know why you would want to do that, but I wanted to be accurate and show you all of them, so I'm going to go back to the Linux. But you can look around that browser if, once you boot it up into a live USB or virtual box. So Open Mandriva, it's LX 4.2. Uh, they do it in KDE. It's put out by the Open Mandriva Association. Their goal is to develop a pragmatic distribution that provides the best user interface for everyone from newbies to developers. So let's take a look. Let's close out a Falcon. When you boot it up on a USB or in a virtual machine, right off the bat, you get the welcome to Open Mandriva. It just basically says, hi, welcome to the operating system. Let's look at the features. Shows you the kernel the KDE Plasma, LibreOffice, OM Control Center, which is Open Mandriva Control Center, OM Feeling Like, Fresh Packages, and ABF, Automated Build Farm, OM Features, Open Mandriva Brand Name Applications and Features, you got the Repo Picker, the Desktop Presets, the Update Configuration, the Control Center, Bug Report Tool, then you got Configure, Configure the Network, Display and Monitor, Configure the Printer, Desktop Themes, Desktop Icons, Open Mandriva Control Center, Applications, you can look at your Office application, your Graphics, Internet, Multimedia, Development, Utility, and Games. So let's just go ahead and close out of it. Well, let's open this up. On Education, you got Mathematics and Science, Games, you got Card Games, Graphics, you got Digicam, Gwynview, Krita, LibreOffice Draw, Ocular, Show Photo, Scanlight. Internet, you got Aggregator, Falcon, Web Browser, IM Contacts, KDE Connect, KDE Connect SMS, KGIT, KMail, Conversation, Kopity, KTNEF, KTorrent, and Open on Connected Device via KDE Connect. Multimedia, you got Elisa, Camoso, Caden Live Video Editor, KM Wave Sound Editor, Simple Screen Recorder, SM Player, and VLC Media Player. Office, you've got the LibreOffice Suite. Settings, you got desktop presets, open Mandriva control center. Let's run over and look at that real quick. Okay, there's the control center. We can look at software, we can look at hardware, configure your printer, audio volume, configure touchpad, configure keyboard, Bluetooth, display and monitor. You can look at your, look at your networks, connections, system, add and configure user and group, service management, configure time, install guest account, bug report tool, configure the system boot, security, Configure your firewall, passwords and keys, and about, version 1.0. Let's right click, let's configure desktop and wallpaper. Let's see if there's a cool wallpaper other than this one. Let's apply that one. That's pretty strong, I like that. I'm gonna leave that up there. Your mouse actions, locations, icons, filter, and about. Let's go ahead and close out of that. Let's go back over here, uh, settings. We were at Open Mandriva Control Center, Print Settings, System Settings. Let's go check out the System Settings. And it's your standard Plasma System Settings. If you go over and you can click on Global Theme, right now we're using the Open Mandriva theme. Plasma Style, we are at present using the Breeze Dark. You got the Oxygen, the Breeze, the Air, the Breeze Light. And like on any of these, that like your icons, fonts, colors, and cursors, you can always get more of those if you go down here, get new Plasma Styles. You can get new color styles, font styles, icons, cursors, and you can download those if you want them. Here's your application styles. You can change the way they look. You can go with thinner bars or thicker bars, or you can go with that old Windows look. Window decorations, you can change it from breeze to plastic, and it just gives you a little bit more different look. And if you don't like either one of them, you can go down here and get new ones. Colors, fonts, let's go to fonts. Let's adjust all fonts. I'm gonna go ahead and bump this up. It's on 10. Can we go to 12 to make it just a little bigger and okay and apply and that way I get bigger font fonts and I can read a little better. 
But you got your workspace behavior, Windows management, shortcuts, startup and shutdown, search, account details, notifications, regional settings, accessibility, applications, date and time, KDE wallet, online accounts, user feedback, connection settings, firewall, input devices, display and monitor, audio, multimedia, power management, Bluetooth, KDE connect, printers, removable storage, storage devices, and system information. Right now we're running Plasma 5.20.5, KDE Framework version 5.78.0, QT version 5.15.2, Kernel version 5.10.14, Desktop, OS Type 64-bit. I'm running it on two processors of my AMD Ryzen 5 with 3.8 gigabytes of RAM I've given it. Okay, let's go over here. Let's put in Terminal. There's Console. Let's see if it has HTOP installed out of the box. And it does. So you got HTOP at present of that four gigabytes that I have given this machine. It is running 930, 940 megs. So less than a gig of the four that I've given it at rest. So that's not too bad. Uh, it's not the lightest I've seen. I think my Manjaro is about 100 megabytes lighter. But this is an independent distribution. So when you look at that, that's pretty strong, I do believe. So let's close back out of that. Panel, edit panel. Let's do some changes to the panel. Let's make it a little smaller. Uh, what kind of options do we have over here? You can panel align the left, center, right. Always visible, auto hide. Windows can cover, windows can go below. If we click on auto hide, let's close out. Okay, and it hides. So when we come back down, let's say we open Falcon Web Browser and it should completely disappear and we have the whole desktop to do our business. Okay, but I mean, Open Mandriva is still strong. I remember using Mandriva back in the day. Uh, I used Open Mandriva for a while. It's a good-looking distribution. What I do love about it is it still has that Mandriva feel about it, and it's an independent distribution. The people that actually develop the operating system are the ones that also take care of all the packages that go onto it. And with KDE, you can't go wrong. Uh, it's a lightweight operating system. It's a lot lighter than it used to be. Uh, with Mandriva, it had a solid base, and now Open Mandriva's development team's keeping that going forward. And they're not just resting on their laurels. They're, they're updating, and they're doing development work. And I think they're doing an outstanding job. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Doesn't hurt. Doesn't cost anything. And if you don't like me, you can unsubscribe later. Also, if you do like and subscribe, you get entered into the Asus ZenBook 14 giveaway that we're doing on August 31st, 2021. Thank you guys for watching the video, and I will see you in the next video.